for 123 coming to you from TMT 123 Podcast Radio. Hi guys, it's Madame LaRue and the Magic Tarot 123. Uh, welcome in. Spirit says, let's get it. That's what I'm told. Let's get it. Uh, we have a wish come true on the board. We also have uh, fighting, a gossip with the wife, sadness, and this tragedy. So I believe the wife and the husband, their business is out on the street. People are gossiping about it. The wife is sad and she has a plan or might have had a plan. All right, Spirit, you want this one? All right, let's, you want this one? Let's uh, clear the energy. Thank you, Spirit. I call on Archangel Michael, all angels, ancestors, guides. Thank you so much. Please guide the reading. All right, so what is this? Let's get into it. What is this? Okay, so we have the Karmic Masculine Midnight. Whoa. Karmic masculine at midnight. I, I feel like we're going to be talking about the the uh, strategy. The strategy becomes the wish comes true. Okay. All right. That's how. That's how. That's what I'm feeling. What I'm feeling. All right. Girl, I'm feeling what you're feeling. No more hope and wishing. Stick it in the ignition. Something with a car. The lovers. So, baby, get, give me that boop, boop. She took him on the ride. Beep, beep. Um, I feel like the wife uh, set it up in a way where him and his lover is caught up. Caught up in a bad way. I feel like the gossip around town is that she did it. Once everybody finds out what she did. So baby, give me that doo doo. Give me that beep beep. Blocked. Okay, blocked. Anxiety attack. 328 might be significant. Okay. What's going on, Spirit? Spirit babies. Why spirit babies here? Improvements. Okay. Maybe that's the wish come true. An old curse. Masculine midnight love is blocked. Strategy fighting. Lovers. Love is fighting. Hmm. I'm feeling like uh, either the wife did a spell, anxiety attack, three forms of sorrow spell. Um, might be attacking the womb of the female that he cheated with. Reckless seduction. Destiny. Vampire. Full moon. This is a full moon reading. Full moon midnight. Vampire. Seduction. Seduction. Lovers. Destiny. Babies. Okay. Full moon lovers. Full moon lovers. Okay, full moon lovers. Those go together. Seduction. 
All right, what is going on? This is kind of like, <clears throat> this energy, it's a strategy move. Karmic cycle, strategy move, divine intervention. Divine intervention come on the parts of the spirit, babies. Haunted by the past. That's the old curse. Death unto enemies. Misfortune. That was the old curse. It was blocked. Divine in intervention. Old curse. Haunted by the past. That's what it was. Three forms of sorrow. Ten. You might be seeing ten, ten. And death unto enemies. This is what they wanted. This is what they wanted. It was blocked. Divine intervention. She might also, I believe, with the with the wife on the board, betrayed by multiple enemies. That's where the gossip is. That's where the gossip is. There was a lot of uh, people in on this. There's the fighting. There was a lot of people in on this. To cause misfortune. For the wife, it was the karmic lovers, karmic full moon lovers that did this. I believe the wife found out she was pregnant, and the lovers decided to cast a spell against it, against the child, the pregnancy. Okay. This is a karmic cycle. So it may have happened in a past life with the past there. Lust and seduction again. And there's the priest. The karmic masculine is a vampire priest. He may have done a uh, love spell on his lover. She's in a trance. This was a good omen. So the wife may have seen a sign that everything is going to be okay with the good omen on the board. Seduction again. He's continuously, he keeps doing love spells and lust spells on his lover. He keeps doing this over and over repeatedly. They may possibly as well do um, sex magic on the full moon. She might even know that he does this because this is his vampire appetite. This is how he feeds. He's an energy vampire. That's the energy he's using on the full moon. What else? That was spiritual warfare when they did that. When they decided to do that spell against the, the wife. That was automatic spiritual warfare. So, um, Dawn came out. Your name might be Dawn. But they were, they, they do these spells between, between the midnight hours and the early morning. So, full, this full moon, they'll be doing the spell again. But it, it's being blocked against the destiny and all of that. It's being blocked. They try to even stop your prosperity, your luck. Your chance to get pregnant. Your future. Toxic connection. 
the lovers, th this is a toxic connection with the lovers. And it may have also had been a toxic connection between him and his wife as well. He's toxic. He is a uh, devil energy. Toxicity. Bound, bound to his demon. Secret. He has a secret. He has a secret. Another one. Because we're talking about him. Female hasn't popped up yet. Oh, there's the feminine vampire. And Carmen. Okay. There she is. She's the vampire. She is a succubus. He is the karmic masculine. She's doing wow. And he's a priest. So yeah. He's karmic. He's a priest. Toxic. She's a vampire. They do um, lust spells. Full moon. Um, they casted a spell against the wife here. Ask in spirit for help. There's a secret. Someone's asking spirit for help. Secret. Whoa. Hmm. There's a secret. He might have a secret. She might. The vampire might have a secret. The wife might have a secret. So let's find out who, who got this secret. What else is there to be told? There's a secret relationship. Oh, shit. Strategy move. There's a secret relationship. Oh, that's a lot. Masculine enemy. Was it my, the, the karmic. The karmic masculine. That's the one also be the, the vampire because she she's a she's a succubus she probably has a sex she is a sex demon yeah feminine enemy she is the sex demon there's a secret affair with the vampire she's getting her energy from someone else not just the karmic masculine Wow, I can't sing that song. Ain't nothing wrong if you want to do that all night long. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ow. Uncle. Oh, my God. What the fuck? She's in a secret relationship with her uncle. And that song that just came on was totally gross. Yeah, they be meeting up. There it is. She meets up with her uncle. Holy hell. Oh my goodness. All right. So we have that going on. You want to continue with this? Let's try to do another deck. Someone's feeling alone and sad. That's the wife. And I call three forms of sorrow. Wow. Wow. Three forms of sorrow. There it is. That's the anxiety attack to cause a heart attack. Cause misfortune. No improvements in her life. That's what they wanted. But there's a secret affair on the board. Broken trust. This is where the dark side appears. <laughs> and I believe the dark side will be coming from the voodoo priest. Although she, she, she's a vampire, but I do feel this, this vampire who is a succubus is working with the demon as well. She's having way too much, too much relation. The love triangle, broken trust, the meetup dark side damn well that this was taken care of the babies everybody's good over here 
good old man. Shit is blocked. This is crazy. Karmic cycle. She has a whole nother cycle over here. She has a whole nother cycle. Mm -mm -mm. Betrayed by multiple enemies. What the hell is that? Who's being betrayed by multiple enemies? Let's get the tarot and the wizard. The masculine wizard is the one being betrayed. The wizard is friends with the uncle. The wizard is friends with the, the uncle. Destruction. Ten of swords. Ten of swords again. What I was talking about. The multiple enemies. Destruction. The dark side I come is coming from the wizard. That's who the fuck is this this whole shit that's about to pop off is all gonna come from the karmic masculine who's a who's a voodoo priest. I do still feel that he, he because he's hypnotized. You got me so hypnotized the way you find it round and round. Mm. So he's he's sexually hypnotized and is easily convinced about what this feminine enemy is doing to his wife. He's participating. I don't, I don't think he even knows he's participating in the destruction of his babies. That's the secret. I believe the uncle knows and I believe this is his, his uncle. His uncle, his uncle's in love with the wife. His uncle is in love with the wife. He got her pregnant. He sets up for the feminine who's his girlfriend. Probably really not. It's more like a business deal because he's very logical. And he about that money. He's very logical. Sends her in. So it's one, two, three against. That's the three of swords. against this couple three four four might be significant tarot let's get into the tarot let's get into it bottom of the deck is oppression hmm. bottom of the deck is oppression let's get into it two of cups let's get into it two of cups the lovers the lovers have something to say The lovers have something to say? <laughs> well, we got the dark side on the board. So somebody's summoning the dark side. Somebody found out there's a strategy on the board. Somebody found out about something. Why did I want to do this? The wheel of fortune. The wheel of fortune. Somebody found out, knows about this. One more again. All right. They have a lot to say. Somebody might be getting a letter about this or a text message. Okay. Wheel of Fortune. We got Dark Side on the board. And then we have the Emperor and the Moon. The Emperor will be the baby father. Like I said, that's confirmation on the Emperor and the Moon. He's the one that's going to bring it. I believe this is taken care of, but we still got to look at it. Okay. We got Wheel of Fortune is on the board. 
That's it. Karma. Destruction. Midnight. Midnight lovers. We got midnight lovers. All right, let's keep going. Sneaking. There's some sneaky behavior. Yeah, because we got the big ass secret on the fucking board. Now, what's the secret? What's the secret spirit? That's what I want to know. What is this emperor doing? I, I believe I hold the secret. The secret is that his uncle is uh, sleeping with his girlfriend, um, who's a vampire succubus. He's a voodoo priest uh, who doesn't know that spells are being casted through him to his wife, through the woman. Okay. The spell was casted against his babies. He finds out. I feel like he finds out. And then he's about to cast a spell. Queen of Cups. What about her? Seven of Cups. The Queen of Cups is the karmic female. And it's like, um, like I said, she has a very large um, appetite in the bedroom. Like, it's, I'm feeling like you can't just give her one. And say, one man can't satisfy her. She needs more wood for the fire. Wow. All right. Still, somebody's still going to be texting a letter. Formal letter. It's the King of Swords. It's the King of Swords. Why is the King of Swords here? That's is that the Emperor? Why is the King of Swords here? Why is the King of Swords here? Death. The emperor is doing a death spell on the king, on the uncle. Because he's the king of swords. He comes out right here as the priest. That's him. He's the, he's the priest. Okay. And he's doing a death spell on the uncle. All right. What else he's doing? He's doing a death spell on the uncle. I don't believe they're going to be able to stop this one considering they went after the spirit babies. Also, with the Seven of Cups, I do feel like the Queen of Cups was interjecting and um, projecting into his thoughts, using the demon to telepathically connect with him. I do believe the, uh, even, even considering the pregnancy might even have been a setup as well. There's something that has to do very important about these spirit babies. Seven of Clubs. There's a serpent. There's a serpent in the mix. There's a traitor for sure, but there's another one. There's another traitor in the mix. He's also um unknown. He's unknown. He he's a secret. I put him right here on the secret. Unknown. This bitch and her fucking secrets, yo. This bitch and her fucking secrets. So she's taking cover because I do feel that she caught on about the death spell to the uncle. So she's about to take cover. But there's someone else some, uh, they're not seeing. Priest, nine of clubs. I feel like this is saying for the for the voodoo priest that he's saying there's more where that came from. So I do feel that he has already uh, raged war against the feminine enemy, 
with the seven of clubs there as well. So that's why she's taking cover. He's saying that's more where that came from. I do feel that he's going to take out more on the feminine. Considering she's been doing, they've been doing spells. And he didn't even know he was part of trying to, you know, not allow this situation to happen. So she, he's going to keep a, uh, spiritually attacking her. But as for the uncle, he, his decision is uh, death unto enemies. The wizard. And that, that is the truth, okay? This is the empress is here. And hermit, she's pregnant. The empress is pregnant. She's hiding her pregnancy. And y'all see what's sitting here? The three of swords. She's hiding her pregnancy. The Empress. The Empress. The Empress. The Empress. And the Empress, her husband. Shit. She's hiding her pregnancy. I believe her. she's also, because she's shown up as the Empress... And remember, sadness is right here. Sadness and alone. She's hiding her pregnancy. The husband might not even know that she's pregnant yet. But someone can attack your your, your spirit babies before you even get pregnant because they're just their spirit. But she's pregnant. That woman pregnant. Pregnant, pregnant. She's very sad. But again, I do feel like this this um, uncle, who's also a wizard, I do feel like he did some kind of skull magic on his nephew. There's something, it's a, I'm feeling like it's a sacrifice. Sacrificing the spirit babies before they get here. That's why it's a double a karmic and a wheel of fortune. Eight of swords. Okay, who's trapped, bound, and tied up? Who is that? Who's trapped, bound, and tied up? Alone. Trapped, bound, tied up, alone. Possibly somebody's drinking. Somebody's like a lush drinking at night. Someone's drinking at night. Um, I do feel the death into enemies, you know, um, this person is do, using alcohol for sure. Um, I feel like he's talking about the uncle. Definitely drinking a lot. Heavily. Heavily drinking. The uncle is heavily drinking. Drinking himself to sickness. Death. I believe the emperor set a demon on him. He do, he drinks heavily. He goes to the bar a lot. This is probably where he'll meet his demise. And that's victory. This is where he will, something's going to happen at that pub that he goes to. Police is going to show up too. The police is the cavalry. Police is going to show up. This person drinks heavily, this uncle. I'm also feeling like he has other dealings too. He might be seeing five, five, five. Yeah, so th there's an officer that's going to, to uh, 
that he drinks with. This person might be an officer. Queen of Swords. Why is the Queen of Swords here? Ace of Cups. It's a woman that um, is going to take the uncle's life. She drinks with him. She drinks with him. And with the Queen of Swords, she's going to use that. That's her weapon. Mm -hmm. And that's how he's going to meet his demise. I don't know why we're still talking about him. We got the Fool card. I'm picking up like... Some form of trap. Fooling around. Because there's another masculine there. This is the fooling around. He's at the bar. Fooling around with this uh, Queen of Swords energy. The masculine and the... Knight of Cups. They're all sitting around drinking. The Queen of the Queen of Swords, the, the Knight of Cups, and the Uncle. They're sitting around drinking, talking about uh sad, pitiful days and stuff like that. But something pops off where he ends up dying. King of Clubs. So it's a group of them. One, two, three, four. Four of them. Yeah, it's four of them. We got the hanged man. This is a total on setup with the sun. It's a setup. Um, this is the illumination of what's going on. The emperor wishing death on him, not only in the spiritual realm, but is also going to carry it through in the physical so it's almost like clearing the way to make sure that the death spell is accomplished. So this is a setup with the uncle. Mm -hmm. Cause they're gonna meet up. This is how this is how he gets chopped and screwed. Cause the queen of swords is that karmic female, and the king of swords is the uncle. Mm -hmm. So. That's how that works. Yep, and there goes the fight. Five of clubs. There goes the fight. So the uncle, um, the uncle, spirit closes the day. The uncle. Some money is involved. Some money is involved in this, in this situation. They're paid, they're paid to, to, to take care of the uncle. But spirit, I would like to know, uh, okay. We have 359 flash on the clock. Ten of clubs here. I would like to know, Spirit, before we go. Um, so the uncle gets what he deserves. And what happens to the wife and the husband now? Moving forward. The uh, they, um, the queen the, the queen of swords. Queen of swords is the karmic female. So she ends up in the mix as well. She ends up in the mix as well because she's there at the bar with the uncle and the friend that they don't know is working for the emperor. That's what happens. But we have the wife over here feeling sad and lonely. What does she do? What's her next move? What is her next move, spirit?
Well, we're definitely talking about her. Definitely talking about her. We got the angels on the bottom of the deck. Some form of celebration that's going to come through for, for the feminine uh, who's feeling lonely, sad, trapped. Um, a new beginning. A new beginning. Again, with the three of swords. After her three of swords. She gets a new beginning after her three of swords. She brings the life forward. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Because with the Three of Swords again and the sadness, it keeps making me feel like she miscarries. Carries? But we have victory on the angels. Yeah. Carries, trip, celebration, death, third. Yeah. She miscarries. The stress. That's what happens. She miscarries. I'm sorry to hear that. They stole your joy. But I do feel that the um your spirit babies, and I know that's the two of cups, and the two of cups means relation. Um, I do believe that your spirit babies and the one that passed away will be coming back. Passed away. Will be coming back. I do feel that strongly. Okay, and it, it may possibly be a boy. So, although you did take a loss in this situation, it, you, you're going to get pregnant again. You're going to have... That spirit baby is going to come in a different form. That energy is still accessible to you. I am so sorry for your loss. So... There's the false high priestess and magic. Something's going on. There's a magician on the board. Why is she here? You need to raise your vibrations. Um, wife. You need to raise your vibrations. You might you need to meditate. You need to ground. figure out where you're going what you want to do next yeah figure out where you're going and what you want to do next with your life yeah showing up as an empress with the will of fortune right behind her i feel like that's that's one of your stressors as well because you don't know where you're going you don't know about this because of the loneliness and the sadness and the loss of your child your intuition is in reverse the spirit wants you to um, ground because you're feeling lost right now like in a dream state yeah with the headache like in a dream state more of a nightmare okay what else what else for the empress the way so three of wands you're waiting for something you're waiting to take your, your journey, to take that fool's journey forward. But that loss, it keeps 4.04 four, oh four on my clock. That That is really something very hard to um, process. You know, but um, I do feel that spirit is saying that it's okay for you to put that other foot in front of the other one. And step forward. All is not lost. Yeah, all is not lost. There's more to come. This is not the end of the road for you. That's that oppression. Feeling oppressed. Okay. You're 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 needing you're needing balance right now. You're needing balance. Okay. I do feel that this karmic masculine, your husband, is also causing you stress. It's having, giving you a hard time for you to see clearly. He may also be doing skull magic on you or a spell to keep you blinded from his actions. Yeah, you're showing up as the Queen of Cups. Keep you blinded from his actions. There's some news coming in as well. There's some um, a speedy news. What's the speedy news for 
What's the speed of news? What's the speed of news? Some form of judgment. Yeah, speed of news coming in. I believe your angels have made um, a, a big decision here. What is it? Spirit? You have an angel coming to visit you that's going to help you moving forward, help you with this trauma of the loss of your child. There's an angel coming to visit you and be with you for a while. Archangel Michael. Because he does want to see you happy. So he's coming to help you. You, your, your family line also works very heavily with Archangel Michael. You might need to um, do a cleansing and um, put up your protection from this King of Cups. Which is your partner. So you, you might need to put up some protection. Now. Put some protection up, up now. Protect your head get a cleanse cleanse that energy that's why you're still feeling depressed and saddened and in the dark he's doing that to you but justice is coming you'll be moving forward you'll be moving forward why would he be doing that to her Why would he be keeping her in the dark? Oh, that's right. He's a narcissist. He likes power. He loves conflict. Seeing you sad and seeing you down gives him a rush makes him feel good about himself like I said what's the message what's the message all for coming through so something you've been working on working towards I do feel like you're working towards leaving them and gathering up your money to run I do feel that that you're gathering up your money and getting ready to cut I, I feel that you do know that he's the one injuring you. And playing like he don't know in the Page of Wands energy. Acting like he don't know what's going on. He acting like he don't know what's going on. Acting like he clueless. Meanwhile, he's the one in, dishing out injury. So you. Again. Yeah. Yeah. Lovers, put up some protection. Put your protection up. Yeah, put your protection up so you can heal and move forward and get away from this damn demon. Thank you, Spirit. That concludes our reading. I want to thank you all for coming and listening. This is Madame LaRue and the Magic Tarot 123 coming to you from TMT Podcast Radio Station. Uh, you can catch me on Wednesday, Thursday, and Fridays at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time live on YouTube. Also, after our live on YouTube, we sing over to the clubhouse for our live interactive podcast chat. Feel feel free to join us as this is a free collective. Thank you all for coming. Please like, subscribe, and share. Have a great night.